This video shows how to use the median median line method to find the equation of the regression line. When you have a table of values, the points of which can be used to make a scatter plot. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your table of values has the points arranged in increasing orders of x. Smallest x is at the beginning, largest x is at the end. The y's will just stay with their x's, so they won't necessarily be in increasing order. Then, we have to divide the table into three smaller tables of equal size. This table has nine points in it, so that's easy to divide into three equal pieces. Each of the small tables will have three points in it. Then, for each of the small tables, we want to find the median of the x's and the median of the y's. The median of the x's will be the middle value, but with the y's, it's not necessarily going to be. The median of the x's in this first small table is the 5. For the y's, the values are 8, 12, and 11. The median is really the 11, not the 12. So the medians of the x's in the three tables are 5, 11, and 17. And the medians of the y's are 11, 16, and 21. We need these values for this procedure. The next thing to do is to take those medians of x's and medians of y's and arrange them into coordinate pairs. So we have three points. The two outer points are the ones that I use for my next step, which is to do the slope formula. Doing the slope formula, I end up with a slope of 5 over 6. Now I need to do another step, and I need another point to use for it. For that point, the x value will be the average of the three medians of the x's, and the y value will be the average of the three medians of the y's. My point has an x value of 11 and a y value of 16. Now I take the equation in y equals ax plus b form. I replace the a with the slope that I found, 5 over 6. I replace the x and the y with the 11 and the 16 from that point. My only unknown is the b. I solve for b. And I get a b of 41 over 6. Finally, I can write out my equation which is y equals 5 over 6x plus 41 over 6. I could do this with decimal instead of fraction, and I will still get a correct equation, but there has to be a bit of rounding involved. Now you might have some questions about special cases. What if we don't have nine points in our table or 12 or some other multiple of three? What do we do? What do we do if we have an even number of points in one of the little tables and we're looking for our median instead of an odd number of points? These questions will be answered in another video called Special Cases When Using the Median Median Line Method.